One thing we noticed um, with the tank gauge is that it's quite inaccurate. So can you see that? So right now, so what it does, it's got two, uh, it shows two tanks here. This one is actually the, the two freshwater tanks combined. And this one is the gray water tank. And it seemed, the freshwater tanks seem to show that they're 100% full up until they're pretty much empty. And then it drops to 25% and then zero before you know it. So it's not a very accurate measure of how much water is actually in this thing, which makes it really hard to figure out um, how much water you need to conserve when you're off grid. But I do have a solution. I've purchased something online. Uh, this is the Top RG uh, water tank gauge. This is the Bluetooth one. They also do one that has a digital display if you want to mount it somewhere. I'm going to hide this way once away somewhere where you won't see it. And I'll use a Bluetooth app to be able to tell exactly how many liters I've used and how many liters I have left. Um, and the way that it does that is by running through this sender unit, which will cut into my water tank lines with genuine John Guest fittings. Um, and it'll be it'll count every liter that I've used. So it'll need the first time I run this thing, it'll need calibrating. I'll show you how I do that once I've got the thing installed. Um, but then after that, it'll it'll count down the liters, and I'll know exactly where I'm at. So that's pretty clever. I'll obviously have to download an app to be able to um, talk to that Bluetooth unit, and then it will show me either a percentage of how much water I've got left or exactly how many liters. So pretty clever. And from what I've heard, they're very accurate. Anyway, I'll take you underneath the van and I'll show you where I'm going to cut this thing in. So here's the tank and this is the main water line, the suction side of the pump. It comes up here and it goes into the pump and then it tees off in a million directions. This is just one spot that it tees off. It also goes inside the van. This one's going to the drawbar tap. So ideally, you, you would like to actually uh, put this sender in after the after the pump but i'm just not going to have room inside where they've got the bulkhead so i'm going to have to put it before the pump which is okay and i'll do it here in this section where there's plenty of room so i've just taken a couple of p clips off to get access to it i'm going to cut this thing in uh p clip and zip tie it all up so it's nice and neat and then i'll run my cable from here up through this penetration i've just done you can see i've got the lead poking out now so i can pull that to the length i need and then tidy it up now, when I'm finished, obviously I'm going to seal that penetration that I've made, and I'll also seal these other penetrations from factory um, that appear to never have been sealed. I'd like to see any hole in the floor sealed, so I'll do that. And that's it. So um, I did put a little bit of thread tape around these John Guest fittings. Um, you actually choose what size fittings you want when you buy the unit. So I chose the 12 mil John Guest fittings for, for my system. But um, yeah, this sender is also directional. So you make sure you put the arrow the way the water's gonna be running. Now Righto, so we're finished installing the sender unit underneath the caravan. Now we're back inside the caravan and I'm gonna show you where I put my Bluetooth receiver unit. Now you can put this anywhere that's convenient for you. I've opted to put it underneath the bed. Uh, you don't, you shouldn't ever need access to this because like I said, it's Bluetooth. It just talks directly to the app. And I should mention here that you don't need internet reception or Wi-Fi or anything like that. You just need Bluetooth on your smartphone. Um, it comes pre-wired with 1.4 meters of cable. So that was really the only thing that I had to think about. I just wanted to put it somewhere where I could drill a hole in the floor um, and run that 1.4 meter of cable without having to use any extensions or anything. If you do need extensions, you can buy them from Topogy as well, um, but I'll, I was able to get away without it. So let me show you where I've installed it. So you can see the unit just there. I've used a couple of wood screws to secure it to the uh, back wall there. Uh, pretty much the hardest thing of this entire install is drilling the hole in the floor. So. I've drilled the hole in the floor. I've passed through the cable that was pre-wired to the Bluetooth unit, and it's got a, a plug and play clip on it, so it plugs straight into the sender underneath the caravan. That's it for the install. Um, now I'll show you uh, how to sort out the app and calibrate your system. So the app is called eFlow, and when you open it, you'll have to search for your device and connect to it. I've already named mine. Mine's called Wild Touring. It'll tell you how much battery power is left in your Bluetooth receiver unit. So this is what the eFlow app looks like. By the way, ignore the pink nail polish. My five-year-old daughter's been 
painting my nails. <laughs> Dad life. Um, so what we've got on the screen here, mine's already calibrated. It's showing that I've got a 160 litre capacity water tank and I got 160 litres left, so we're at 100%. But this information here, this percentage would be useless to you if you didn't first figure out the capacity. And, and that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. So I've actually got two 95 litre water tanks, so I should really have 190 litres of true capacity, but it's not all gonna be usable. There's always gonna be dead zones inside the bottom of the water tanks. So to figure out what is actually usable, um, I should have around 190, so let's, set the water volume to 200. So now that's reset to 200 liters. And let's fill my water tanks on the caravan until they're overflowing. And now let's turn on a tap until absolutely no water comes out. And I've got 35 liters left out of my 200. So I know that it used 165 liters. So now I know my true usable capacity is 160 litres. Let's go back up here to the settings, water volume setting, and let's change this to 160 litres. And now this is going to be a true accurate reflection of how much water we've got left. So that's the Topogy water tank gauge. Really simple to use, really simple to install, a good bit of kit. If you've got water tank monitors on your caravan or your camper trailer or whatever that are not very accurate, and you want to see exactly how much water you've got left for off-grid camping and stuff like that, then for a couple of hundred bucks, I think the Topogy is a really good solution. Anyway, it's pretty bloody late now, and I'm going camping tomorrow, so I'm going to wrap this video up. Cheers, guys. See you in the next one. <laughs>